You're listening to the Emo Metal Gamers Podcast. Guys, to another episode of Evil Metal Gamers Podcast. Today is March 24th, 2019, and this is episode number 70. My name is Jose Rodan. This is Dylan Espino. And you're listening to the Evil Metal Gamers Podcast, where you hear all your geek news. All week, every week. That's right. And there's it's big Dylan, news bro. this week, so we're going to start off with the biggest one, right? Yeah, let's, let's get into it. Let's go right into it. Stadia. So GDC happened this week, and uh, everybody was looking forward. What was this, on Tuesday or Monday? Uh, it was Wednesday, I think. Oh, my God. We're being professional. Either way, everybody's <laughs> waiting patiently to see new Google's new release or of video game uh, box or video game... Uh, console that they were going to release and it turns out that it was not a console they called it what was it stadia yeah this is short for stadium i'm assuming yeah they want to get all the people into that stadium called youtube now <laughs> <laughs> they did mention youtube a lot and they there was no word of twitch at all no twitch man no twitch it's I, it's the biggest I think Twitch is the biggest right now. For but, but I mean, it's not streaming. like it, I don't think it's not going to be there. I don't think they're going to put it in there. Why not? And say it, Pete, because they make way too much. Well, money I mean, YouTube. isn't Amazon working on something too? So maybe uh, Amazon will have something like that too. I mean, they they have a, a studio making games, but they've never talked about making an actual streaming device. So, first of all, let me explain to the audience that we're starting off with the news of Stadia because there's so much to talk about and on the specifics of this that it'll probably take the bigger part of the of the portion. So, let's just get it out of the way. Google talked about Stadia. It's a streaming service slash buy games because God knows nobody knows. I left. I stopped watching the video with, and I left with more questions than I had before. So, there's no pricing. How no do you pricing. how do you think the pricing is going to be? I still think that it'll be subscription wise, but I think it'd be a smart move if 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 it is purchase purchase the game. I would I think it's a win win for the for the. I would, go ahead. I would kind of like that more, but they need to make games way cheaper I think for that to why actually because you're not owning anything they own everything it's their streaming device you know it's streaming service yeah but I mean what, what about places like Voodoo and you know all the other stuff where you're buying a movie it's not your service well it's, to be honest like most of the movies that get on Voodoo are discounted heavily and they they allow you to download whatever movie you you buy on on Voodoo. So, do you really think they're not going to add this, the download? No, they can't because the whole plan about this thing is that you'll be able to play it seamlessly, seamlessly. Yes, from your yeah, phone, I mean, from your tablet, from your cheap computer, from your. I mean, I I know you went super hyped into this. I mean, did did they hit anything that got you excited? I I really do like the fact that I don't need a console. I think it's great. And they also talked about how much you, you need on your internet. So it's not that bad. And they also, I'm very happy that they mentioned 4K60 and that they're planning for 8K. Now, 4K60, I mean... Right now, you need a super powerful computer for 4K 60. You need fiber, yeah. Yeah, console, console. No, no. I mean, I mean, like, if you download it and you wanted to play a game in 4K 60. Well, that, that's getting a lot cheaper as as we speak. Video cards that can handle 4K are becoming more uh, 
I, uh, customer. They still can't friendly. handle 4K60. You need what two 1080s to run 4K60, and that's not even with ultra settings. I mean, if you get a Xbox One X right now, you can pretty much run that. 4K no, no, native. no, no, no. I hate when people who play consoles say that bullshit. Yeah, because I could do that with a PC too. Just lower it, the settings to low, and then I would be able to run at 60 also. Because at the I end guess. of the day, that's what consoles do. It's the medium, low to medium settings. It's not high. It's not I guess. I it's not I guess. It's exactly what it is. You're getting the lower settings. What do you mean you don't know? You have a PC. You know damn well that there's a difference in, in the in the graphic it's, settings. It's true to a certain degree. I mean, I, I didn't have any issues with how uh, God of War... Uh, the new one looked. You're right. You're right. But I can't compare it to a PC game. But if it came out for PC, it would be look better. Sure. It's, I mean, if you have the cash, but that's the thing. But like, it's, it's not about sure. I, I will, it's that they, they can add more. They can add more terrain. They can do better shadows. They can do, you know, they can do crispier lines. Uh, I, I have that a real shit. big issue. I have an issue with this because I, I just recently looked up uh, the, like the perfect distance you have to have your TV from the couch okay. to actually enjoy 4K. And in my living room, I can't enjoy 4K at how all. How close is it to your face? It's not how close it is. It's how far I am. And if you're sitting 7 feet to 6 feet, 4K is useless. You, you can't really discern it with your so then eye. why the fuck would anybody get a 4K then? Unless you get a big one, right? How big is your TV? Yeah, 55 inch. Oh, there you and go. That's the problem. That's the problem. Right, you, you need you need about a, for me. <laughs> God damn it, Jose. Stop doing that. <laughs> you got a 55 like, inch. For me, if I, if I had a bigger 70 or 80 inch then I can enjoy 4K better but like the future is 8K is bullshit because almost 90% of people won't be able to, to actually see anything different I what, have you seen an 8K TV yes and you did see an 8K TV where did you see an 8K TV I'm sorry I'm sorry I meant no yeah because you're a liar <laughs> I was about to say look I, I read through the specs, and to enjoy a 4 AK, uh, you need to be as close as three feet away from the TV. Three feet? And it has, yes. I and feel that it's the, the size, bro. It's the size. <laughs> You're going to be doing this all podcast, aren't you? What? You know what you're doing, bro. I'm not Just doing anything. You're specs. being dumb. God damn <laughs> Stop it, stop it, Jose. I will fucking get up and leave you <laughs> right here. <laughs> Yo, don't threaten me. <laughs> okay. So, the uh, forget all the 8K. Obviously, that's way in the future. But, I mean, 4K 60, I mean, you need heavy internet. The, the one flaw that I find in this is the, the fact that not everybody has unlimited data. So I I I can see it being good for phones. Why? Because phones they're gonna go to five G very soon, and most most companies have unlimited data. I think most companies. I know Sprint does. I know T-Mobile does, and I know Verizon. I'm not sure about AT and T. And that internet runs good, and it's running from big towers and stuff like that. So. If, I mean, <laughs> if you're I mean, in a hotel like, room and you're using their Wi-Fi, I mean, you're not going to be able to play 4K 60, obviously. I mean, let alone 1060, 1080 60 on, 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 right. on hotel right. Wi-Fi or Starbucks Forget Wi-Fi. That. But, I mean, we don't know what technologies Google is doing, so we don't know. But then I can't protect them either and say, oh, 
Don't judge them because I don't know anything about it either. The only way we're going to know is by seeing it. But it is a game changer. They went up there and insulted PlayStation and Xbox. And I'm like, you shouldn't be talking about that because you're talking about the ones now. But the the two that are coming out are probably going to be 12 teraflops and 14 teraflops. They went up there and say that both of them together and they're more powerful. I get it. But, <sighs> That's but it was a bad move to say that. Because the, the uh, other uh, ones are on the horizon. What, oh, you know what else is a bad move? It's them saying that it's unhackable and you can't cheat on that. You pattern. can't. How? It's in the Wi-Fi. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not saying you I know how, but you, they just... You can't. Every... But they you just can, oh, every hacker how are you gonna ch- how world. can you hack a game that's not running from your from your computer? Exactly, it's running. It's, it's, it's gonna be really hard. It's running through see. through their servers, so you can't hack well, them. Well, think about a, a DOS attack. If they get DOS with that, just shut down every server. They can shut down every server. But, but I mean, he said about hacking. Uh, he said about cheating. I believe right, that cheating. the cheating will end. I think you might people are going to figure out a way just to fuck with them. You would have to you would have to hack Google and then cheat on your name. So you do see what I'm saying? It's like wouldn't that like easily uh put a target on you if you're hacking into Google and then doing an end, a, a cheat? It wouldn't, because most hackers use VPN anyways. I don't know. I, I, it seems to me like that's a lot of work just to fucking win in a game. I'm not. I'm saying sure it's hackers smart. have a better time, better things to do with their lives, like shutting down a no, government I'm, or something. I'm not saying it's smart. I'm saying they shouldn't have challenged the world. They need by saying no hacking, no cheating. I, I, that's I, like I, I, I believe it. But I mean, I might be wrong. Anyway, yeah, it's gone away. So the other thing is the controller. Everybody's criticizing the controller, but it, I mean, listen, I got the Nvidia Shield controller, and that's a shitty controller. At least the the the, the Google one has a resemblance to a Dual Shock. Yeah, I don't have that big of an issue with the controller. I like the Google Assistant too. That's- I mean, the only people who know how to make, like, new controllers is Nintendo. Nintendos are the only ones who can really, like, change a look. Like, look at the GameCube controller. Look at the Nintendo 64 controller. Yeah, I agree. Look at the look at the, the Wii controller. They're all different. All different. I, I, th- I, mean, I mean, completely different engineering. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's like nothing's out there like it. Right. I mean... The DualShock 4 is pretty uh, intuitive. I mean, it has that, that mouse pad, tracking pad. That's cool, but it's still the same resemblance as the other two. Sure. I mean, I, I feel like... So, the, I mean, they added new features to it, but I'm talking about the actual design. Eh, I mean, at this point, I, I don't think the they need to change it all that much. They've kinda... No, no, they don't need to change it. They, I... I what I'm saying is Google designed something that's similar to mm-hmm. that, similar to what what people find comfortable. Yeah. So, then, I mean, you don't have to give them shit. It's, it's not a bad move. No, it's not. I think it's a great move. But, I mean, people find something to complain about. So, this, this is where I'm at with this uh, Stadia. Um, it's... Stadia. I think they should oh. aim this at like not PC gamers per se or like more avid players but you know like lower wage people that can- okay well hold, hold okay I understand what you're saying but do you don't think they're aiming at the the, the game developers oh this whole GDC presentation it, it would save them so so much time because they don't have to do it for different consoles. You just do it off the server. Well, I mean, it would just it would uh, help them. They wouldn't be bound to the limits of a well, console. Well, let me stop you there because you're talking about a one streaming solution for everybody, right? And it's never going to be that. Yeah. Like, 
Xbox is not going to allow this on their system. Neither is PlayStation. If anything, they'll make their own streaming systems, right? Which is true. So, like, that's already out the door. As long as Xbox and PlayStation keep making money and keep making their own exclusives, which I, what I wanted to see from Google was exclusives. But uh, they just started. They're not going to have any exclusives at right, all. And this- it just started. I mean, when PlayStation 1 came out, it, it, it had a few games. Yeah. But all the good shit didn't come out until two years later. But anyway, they're pitching the idea to game developers that they should make their games for Google. And if it's in Google and it's available for all gamers, then the gamers don't have to get it for Xbox. They don't have to get it for PlayStation. Yeah, and that's what people... So they don't have to worry about having to have the limits of the limits of a console. I understand what you're saying, but the fact of the matter is that if you can take that away, those limits, then they'll be more happy. I agree, but I mean, there still needs to be a progression towards engines, and I feel like that might go by faster than hardware limits, but there's still gonna always going to be an engine limit, right? There's always going to be an a what? engine limit. Like, Unreal 4 can only do so I- much right now until... I, Unreal Engine I, 5 comes out. Or 6, 7. But all I'm going to say is that if you have one company that could, that, that'll have the fucking money to back up what they're saying, it's Google. And they got more money than, I don't know if they have more money than Microsoft. So everybody that's Maybe? listening Dude. should realize that GDC's Google's pitch to developers. They're just trying to recruit people right now. Yeah, and I think they're trying to fucking scare the, the, the consoles, too. But they should have definitely said what the pricing method is for this thing. Bro, they got the whole year to talk about that. You don't think they're going to talk about that in E3? Are they going to be at E3? You know they're going to... Wait, are you kidding me? Sony's not going to be there. Have they announced they're going to be at E3? Because if they're at E3, that would be great. They're going to be in E3. It's a prediction, but I can guarantee you that they're going to be an E3. All right. I mean, if they show gamers to respect that E3 and give us a good show, then, you know, I give it to them. They're going to be, I mean, the only thing that they can't do in E3, obviously, is talk about exclusives. I think that's a big, big problem. They, they can't, they can't. It's not a big problem. It's not fair that you, the, the people are expecting that. They should expect it, though. If they if How, they want to be a major player but, in the industry, they need exclusive content right now. But no, okay. First of all, when Xbox came out, what was the exclusive? It was Halo? Just Halo. Somebody involved. Uh, the Halo come out at the, right there. At the, so they say Halo Xbox, Halo Xbox, or the next Halo was later on talked about after the Xbox was introduced. It might have been like a year after. Okay. For first of what PlayStation? But they still showed Halo. Um, PlayStation was uh, what was it Legends of Dragons Crash? Um, second filter. I feel that they just they just got into the game, but you don't know what they have up their sleeves yet. They got the fucking money to do what Epic is doing. They got... If Epic... Think about this. If Epic has the fucking money to buy off these developing companies, right? And 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 hold them for a year, right? Because Epic has fucking money, right? Yeah. And they're able to buy developers and keep them for a year from Steam and from all this shit, right? Mm-hmm. Epic's money is like what 5% of what Google makes you're not going to tell me that Google can't go there and say how you about you make this fucking game exclusive for us for six months I mean they're going to get that stuff from maybe indies but third party is not going to jump for a year exclusive on Google's thing and 
I feel the third party is going to put their games in Google, but they won't be exclusives yet. You're right. But if it does well, then they'll have no problem to do exclusivity. If Google gives them the money. Because, I mean, at the end of the day, that's what, what, that's what Epic does is, oh, just in case it doesn't sell well, we're going to give you the percentage of amount that you would you would have lost or whatever, right? Right. Because that's how they're doing it. Let's assume you 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 took a hit because it didn't sell as well as it would have done in, in, in Steam. So they're really not losing money because they got that money from Epic. For a year. I mean, that's... For That's a, a huge investment. If you're going to get like Assassin's Creed 4 uh, or whatever next Assassin's is going to be and you're going to do that deal with Google, then I, mean, they, I think they can. I think they they can because they already they already got them. I think they can, but I don't think third parties are going to go for that. This is too risky. At least right now. No, I think so. You're right. It's too risky right now. But the next Assassin's Creed, which I don't know if they're going to talk about it this E3, but it looks like Google and, and Ubisoft are kind of friends. It does seem that way. And I think... So don't be surprised if, if they make an exclusive Assassin's Creed for Google or they the next one is Google exclusive. Or for six months or a year, I still think six months would be the safer. Right. I mean, I mean, and of course, this deal wouldn't happen. I mean, their parties have to be. Until, uh, their parties have to be really, really cautious because if they give Google way too much power, they become one of the only platforms they can actually make money on. That's a lot of power on Google. They're really powerful. But what does it matter to the game developer? At the end of the day, what does the game developer care as long as they're getting their money? Well, that's the question, right? We, we haven't seen the fallout that, that, yet. That, like, we don't know it yet, but I mean, at the end, I mean, it just, okay, don't think of, of Google. Don't think of that. Just think about a future 20 years from now. God, I'm going to be old, but think about 20 years from now, it, it, it won't be Oh, do I have to get my game for PlayStation? Do I have to get my game for Xbox? And do I have to get my game for PC? It'll be all in the internet. And it'll run through. Like, Google is not saying, hey, we want to destroy PlayStation. It almost sounds like they're welcoming Xbox and PlayStation to do the same thing. They're still going to get their money. But... You know what I mean? Like, like Sega became a, a developer. So, assuming the Sony doesn't make it, and assuming that the Xbox doesn't make it, think about the, and, and to tell you the truth, the Xbox is already making that move. It looks like it's already fading away from competitors, and it, it does not mind being on Microsoft. It does not mind being on on any of that shit. Right. So, I mean. I don't see a problem where Google and Microsoft could be partners. I mean, if they're getting their cut, I I mean, I think they will get their cut. I mean, the problem comes in when you don't have enough people going into your streaming service, and they're not, you're not getting enough revenue. Exactly, from and that's I mean, that's no matter one reason what, Microsoft wouldn't do this. But another reason is that I mean, they don't have the technology Google does. They don't have the engineers that Google has. No matter what, the, uh, we all know, we all know that everybody's jumping in the streaming, the streaming boat. Everybody, PlayStation, Xbox, uh, Nintendo's going to do their own thing. They're they're always two decades behind. Uh, they're they're not they're all gonna do the streaming but at the end of the day who do you think has the better technology in your opinion a goof for sure uh, for sure they have the money to back it up and they have the the, the brains to, to do it yeah 
So if if this is where everybody's headed for the future, right? If everything's headed to streaming, Google might not be the most popular one at first because they don't have the games. But when everyone goes streaming and then they play, let's assume eventually you're going to have an indie that's going to come out for all f- three systems, all four systems, Nintendo, Xbox, Sony, and uh, Stadia. And people see... It's, let's assume it's an indie that everybody wants to play. Super Meat Ball 3, whatever. And they play it on Stadia and it plays better than all the other streaming services. What do you think is going to happen? I mean, people are going to gravitate to it, but... Exactly, they're going to gravitate. I, I'm i not saying that Google's not going to fail because, that, God help me, they failed a lot. And a lot of shit they've done. I mean, the, the technology is just not there right now. Like, half the stuff Stadia was promoting, it's just not going to happen. But but we don't know. I, I can... We can't say the technology is not there because we don't know. I can know. guarantee you 4K is not there when that thing happens. Because I don't have uh, fiber and I need... Yes, but if you go to the internet uh-huh. right now, you can check where is because you're going to be running it off the Google servers. You, the closer you are to a Google service, and you live in LA, I can fucking guarantee you have a really close Google server. I probably do, but I don't think I'll be able to run it, 4K on my. It, but I mean, isn't it running through a server through the internet through their servers though? It it does. I think it's it'll, not going to work, dude. It's not gonna work. Not for four K, bro. I I I understand. It's hard to believe, but we're talking about engineers that they can fucking change shit. The only thing that I'm worried about is not about can they pull out the four K sixty. It's about net neutrality, not being around, and the fact that. Not everyone has the power, the 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 unlimited broadband. Not not everybody has that. So, like, I got GeForce Now, right? For Nvidia, mm-hmm. you know, GeForce Now is streaming service, yeah. right? You can rent the game, and I can play it by streaming. I mean, a lot of people don't know that this is already out. The streaming shit, Nvidia is already doing it. So I can pay, I think it's about $10. No, I don't think it's, I think it's more. Let's just say it's 10 And then I can go into NVIDIA and pick a game like whatever. What just came out? Uh, what's that game you just played? Um, uh, Sekiro. Sekiro is, is there. I can play the whole game streaming. But I don't have unlimited data. I only have a terabyte, and I really feel that if I'm going to play a 4K 60, well, let's assume Google is telling us the truth. You can run a game at 460, 4K 60, right? Let's assume it's true. How fast is your data going to run out? Since it's streaming, that's where the that is where the 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 problem lies. It's not about can Google pull this off. It's the uh, not everyone has unlimited data. Everybody has these caps in Xfinity and caps in AT&T. Verizon, it's not unlimited. Well, I think it's twofold. It's not unlimited. And if you get throttled or if your internet sucks, your, your, yeah, frame, they're, they're, your they're frame rate is going to dip and it's going to compress the image. So it, I don't think the... Yeah, I don't think it, the frame rate dips in in the same aspect as when you're playing a game in a PC and it's processing the the frames because there's so much going on I feel that the frames will dip but it's not the same the same way it'll dip in the fact that it's stopping because the internet is not going through you know you know what I mean it's two different type of I'm I mean, so that is a problem. That that is the big problem. I mean, if you get throttled, yeah, you, you're gonna lose something. It's just we don't know what's yeah. gonna. Yeah, be. yeah. And at the end of the day, that that's that's definitely nothing Google can do uh, about. There's nothing Google can do about 
because that's in the hand of X, uh, uh, Xfinity, Verizon, AT and T. And the third problem is controller lag, which is a whole different box of cans. Yeah, no, I I, I understand. Like I said, in in a magical world where they did say the truth and and a it's gonna be four K sixty and there's no controller lag. It's perfect, but then what happens when you run out of internet? Right. That's 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 the biggest concern. Forget about can Google pull off what they're saying? They can. It's that. What happens when you run out of internet? You can't play your games. And that sucks. When you can physically buy a copy and you can play it as much as you want, but when you have no internet, you can't play. So you now you're fucked. You will not play games. Yeah, I mean you're you're focused on this, but I have just tons of other concerns. Like you're talking about game preservation. You're talking about mod community disappearing. Yeah, that's all gonna disappear. You're talking about. If you live in a poor area, you're not going to be able to stream this shit at 4K. Forget about 4K. Let's say regular 1080p. Once they run out of internet, what does it matter? 720. Let's just say 720. Well, you're still going to use a lot of internet, a lot of data. Streaming a game. Remember how many hours we play, man. I when we watch a movie, when we do Netflix, we're not putting in the hours that we put on a video game, bro. I got I mean, twenty three hours on on. I mean, you say you say. Um, well, I have an issue with that. I mean, you say you can forget about the visuals, right? Ten eighty or four K, but then when I just buy a console. And actually get that screen fidelity, that that boost in video quality, and just no, you're right. No, but I mean, altogether. yeah, I and and that's not what I'm. I you, you let me correct what I said. I'm saying is even if you had a 720 TV, right? Because if you run an image at 720 on a 720 TV, and the image looks good, right? Yeah, I mean, it's still gonna look good on a 720. If you're running 720, it's gonna look good because it's made for that specific resolution. You're still streaming the whole time when it's loading, when it's it's just streaming. It's gonna kill your data. Mm-hmm. You're gonna run. So, I mean, it could be the most beautiful game ever. And it doesn't matter what resolution. At the end of the day, if you don't have enough internet, and you said it, the poor, the poor areas, they're gonna run out. And then what? So yes, people are gonna rather pick console in that situation because when they have no power, they can still play, right? Yeah. And and shit, I don't understand because in two thousand thirteen, was it when Xbox One came out? Was it thirteen? Uh, yeah. 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 2013, when Xbox said that the Xbox system was going to be online all the time, this is six years ago they said this, and the world went ape shit. They went fucking crazy. How dare you? Uh, 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 what about the people in the in the, in the wars in in Iraq? We have no internet. How are we going to play? Remember, and that idiot said. Well, you could always get an Xbox 360. Do you remember mm-hmm. that? So, I mean, and now it's acceptable? Now it's okay? I think it's okay because Google. It's not okay. I think it's okay because it's okay Google. That, they don't have in anything. The, in the world? They yeah, don't have anything ahead. to lose in the game right now. They don't have any anything that that's like... They don't have any fans of, you know, video game video game fans bro but in the in the world of streaming even even if playstation came out with the best streaming service even if playstation came out with it right now playstation said we're going exclusively streaming and it's going to be amazing and we're going to have all the exclusives we got god of war 5 and we have animusha the remake and all this other bullshit it doesn't matter because who's the boss in streaming 
It's the major cable companies. Yeah. So it doesn't matter. Forget it, Google. Xbox becomes the best. Nintendo says, we're going to stream all the Mario games from now on. You know what Nintendo's going to do awesome, right? Let's assume they say the next system is going to be streaming and they're going to have Legend of Zelda on release on the first, on the streaming service. That'll be released as streaming. People are going to still get it, right? They're going to be like, yes, no matter what, Nintendo's not going to fuck up this Zelda game. But then what happens when you run out of internet? Well, this thing, I mean, we're, we're already in like theory zone. Like, it's just, if they go streaming, which I don't think they'll go streaming the next generation or maybe even the generation after that. And even, no, and they even won't. if they did, they'll probably go multi prong where they'll give you a streaming option and they'll give you a download option. Just like yes. the way they always done it. But, I mean, that's for now. But the next generation, it will be only streaming because they save money. The big major platforms, sure. But then you go into the bubble where it's like you got three major platforms, streaming platforms, right? And yeah. they're all trying to work like Netflix unless they're selling the game for $6. Uh, those, it, depending on the pay method, subscription or just buying out games entirely uh, they'll have to either go mobile approach which is they need to make money content uh, little by little then they'll need the whales but if they go full game pay out $60 approach then they can continue doing what they what they're doing today it's gonna be a total shift in uh in the industry, the studios are either going to close because they're not going to be able to make money depending on the, on the pay method. You know what I have to say about that? Anyway. <laughs> you say that. What's your favorite series? My favorite series of video yeah. games? It's Legend of Zelda. Of course. Well, when uh, Nintendo shuts down, you should uh, remember that sound. (laughs) (laughs) It's fucked up, bro. It's not fucked up. It's just (laughs) how it is. God help me, please, Nintendo. Don't go out of business. Yep. The stadium, man. That's <laughs> fucking crazy. We'll uh, see. I, yeah. All right. I don't think we even have time to talk about any more news now. <laughs> Do you want to throw in a couple of news real fast? Jesus Christ. Sure. We barely have time. Sure. Uh, we could talk as well. Let's just throw in um, Epic Epic <laughs> says it's not going to sell porn games or bloatware. Which I, really? Yeah. Which is, yeah. So they're trying to push people to Steam. Well, they always said they were going to make it a closed garden, so. Good for them. <sighs> no, not good for them. Good for them. Well, whatever. I mean, fuck they them. don't need to be Steam. Steam's already Steam. Uh, Outer Worlds is exclusive to Epic. Outer Worlds Detroit and... Detroit Become Human. And... Well, what, it, uh, what is it, the company? Um... um Quantum Dreams. Quantum Dreams, which it turns out so all- is a second party developer to Sony. They're not even owned by Sony. No, they, they, they're not. And they left Sony and now they're going to come out for PC. So if you haven't played the Heavy Rain and uh, Detroit Become Human, and we're not going to mention that other game. <laughs> uh, now's your chance to play. I mean, I- I'm excited because maybe you can up the graphics. And it'll even look even more epic. Because those games already look good, but imagine with the uh with the with the power of a computer. Oh my god. Detroit become human. I'm glad I didn't play that for PlayStation. But I'm it's an epic store. Ugh. I hate it. I hate that it's in the epic store. Um ha- I'm happy it. that Epic's just throwing everything out there right now. It's like we just pick up everything that we can 
make it exclusive for a time. It's such good. It's a good thing when companies are competitive. The customer wins. No, no, they're destroying the. They are destroying PC right now. They're 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 breaking it apart, and it's not good. It's it's not. Good. It'll be on. It's it'll not be good. On Steam in a year. Bros, the, a year? Come on, man. Do you know what happened to fucking Tomb Raider when it came out a year later on PlayStation <laughs> 4? Nobody played it. Nobody played it. Well, it's, it's, it's okay. a, a year is a long it's time. To the developers, I guess. It's not. It's, it's Steam all it has to do is say, okay, we're going to do the, the, the same thing. 10%, what is it? Whatever Epic Store is charging, we'll do it. And that's it. Epic Store goes away. And then go back to your old ways. They're never going to do that. So, bro, they can do it and destroy it. If you have two gas stations across from each side, right? And one of them is charging a dollar fifty a gallon. The other one is charging a dollar forty-five. The one in the front says, we're going to sell it for $0.10 cents a gallon. They do it, fucking destroy the gas station, and then bring the prices back up. Steam, Steam's not feeling it right now. They should have already done it. They're not. They're gonna. They should have yeah, done it. I agree. I'm not saying, like, I'm not saying, do a better deal than Epic. All you have to do is match them. That's all because the developers want to stay in Steam because that's where all the PC gamers are. Just fucking do the same deal, Gabe. <sighs> they're not gonna do it. <laughs> <They're not. laughs> fucking hate them oh sorry that's the wrong side effect <laughs> uh, Castlevania collection coming out are you excited for this uh you know what I got a confession to make huh. I never finished <laughs> Symphony of the Night <laughs> I'm out of here <laughs> you motherfucker if you do something in your life the next thing better be playing what? fucking Symphony of the Night well, I never finished you're it you're a piece of shit why it's one of the greatest games of all time <laughs> that's what the audience thinks yeah they agree with me it feels good <laughs> they're laughing at how stupid that sounded <laughs> <laughs> the only one that's not as stupid as you for not playing it. It's the only one I haven't finished. I played the other two Castlevanias though, and I played the ones for Super Nintendo. What was the Nintendo? Played them all. Well, the best, the so, best ones so, are Symphony so, of the Night and the DS ones. <sighs> DS. Anyway, so these games that are coming out, does it have Symphony? Uh, they haven't announced it yet. Oh. Okay, well then I'm not gonna get it. They announced the first four. It's gonna be eight games per pack. Uh there's gonna be three packs? One is a contract collection of eight games. Castlevania and um what the fuck else do they do? I forgot the third one. I don't know. You know them better than me. I I do, I just can't remember what the fuck it was. Castlevania collection, Contra. I'll look it up. You don't know? I can't remember. <laughs> I hate you so much right now. <laughs> anyway, so what 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 are the other news you got? Uh Dean is in charge of the news. Uh that's all I have. What what do you got? I send you all the news. You're the one who's supposed to be talking about the news. Oh yeah, you did send me. The, news. the new character uh, for Apex. Well, this should be let's let's ascend into the pit at this point. Okay, no, well, there's no more news. Well, that's part of the what I played, right? All right. So first of all, I don't know. I don't know if I should call this an achievement, but Overwatch has lowered a toxic toxicity down 40% since they added the endorsement system in it. Now, for those who don't play Overwatch, the endorsement system is basically when you finish a battle or a, 
or uh, what do you call those? Like just a battle? Um, arenas. Wait. Whatever. When you finish a game that you play with other players, you can endorse up to three players and say they were good, they were helpful, they were they led good or whatever. All this bullshit. Yeah, support. And support. Uh, it, yeah. MVP. It gives you yeah. So basically, you're you're giving props to other players for being good players, which helps other players from being assholes, basically, because you're never going to get an endorsement. And I think the endorsements also help you level up, right? They give you experience? It gives you extra experience points, yeah. So I think it's a good thing. They figured out a way better system to do it than to because because you know pe- people are like gamers are like little children if you tell them not to say bad things they're going to say it even more and they're going to say they're being controlled and I don't want to play your game anymore because you're telling me how to play my game but if you give them incentives just like a little kid you're giving them a cookie then they change and a pair 40% is not bad yeah, that's that's a huge dip from where it was. I mean, of course. I mean, and then you know what kind of player you're gonna get when you see the number, the level they are, in, in endorsing. Like, I mean, if you match the level, right? Like, if they're a level uh, 60, 50, mm-hmm. and then they have a level one of endorsement, then you know this is probably an asshole. Because they've been playing around for so long and they have so little on the level of endorsements, then, then you know nobody wants to endorse this idiot. And then you hear them talk. As soon as they talk, it's like a twelve-year-old. <laughs> anyway, uh, so you want to jump in the pit? Yeah, let's jump in the pit. Um, well, I should uh, give a quick shout out to the Nintendo Indies. They all look good. They announced the new. Um, Zelda game, I guess, made by the guys that made uh, um, uh, fuck, what was it called? Uh, I I completely forgot the fucking name. <laughs> you forgot? Yeah, I forgot. Um, uh, okay, uh, crypt. Let's talk about the big crypt game. of the Necromancer. That's the one. That's what it's called. This doesn't sound like a Legend of Zelda game at all. No, that's that's not the name of the, the Zelda game, but it is the name of the the last game that that developer made. It's, it's kind of oh, like a okay. music beat game. Oh, okay. Um, and they had a bunch of other shit that looked good. They also, um, they also announced the new Persona Five game. Did you see that shit today? Yeah. Yeah, I, I I didn't get the name, but I saw it. I, I got to look at the article. Uh, the other thing is they got Cuphead, right? Cuphead, and they. I don't know how. I mean, maybe Cuphead is not as as a technological achievement that I thought. If it can be run on the fucking Switch, it's all about the engine, right? Because when I when I see it play, it's ridiculous. You know? Do you own it? Yeah, I own it on Steam. Yo, we gotta play because I need help in that game. Did you pass it? Because that game is tough as fuck. Yeah, I beat it. You, man. You you beat it. Yeah, I beat it. Are you sure you beat it? One hundred percent. I haven't played the DLC, but it'd be the normal game. <laughs> You didn't beat it. You're a liar. Uh, by yourself? Yeah, by myself. You're a fucking liar, uh, bro. Oh, God. Nothing. Show me proof. Show me proof. There's no way you pass that game. That game is hard I'll, as hell. I'll send you a, a, a picture later. You, you By yourself, let alone, you, you say you Where, pass who it. Who else am I going to play with? With Rebecca? Yeah, she's going to help me play one of the hardest games of all time. <laughs> One of the hardest games in like the last five fucking years. 
I don't know how you did it, but okay. Congratulations. All right. Can we jump in the pit now? Yeah. Let's go. All right. Let's jump in the pit. Welcome to the pit. So I was playing Apex. And um, I was checking out the new hero. His name is Octane. Um, he kind of... Why is he... Co- Go ahead. What, why is he called like that? What does he do? Uh, so his his uh, ability is he'll like stab himself, start juicing himself. It's like a... What? Wait, yeah, what? It's, it's like he sticks himself with steroids or something. And like the Jesus. whole time uh, that he runs, he has one hand stuck to your like arm or chest while he pumps like a green liquid in. Uh, so this is like a bane. He looks so skinny though. No, it doesn't make you stronger. It makes you faster. So uh, it increases your, like, your speed by like thirty percent as long as he's pumping, and it takes away like ten percent of your health. Um. Jesus. And his, his ultimate is uh, he'll throw down like a platform, and it works like a trampoline where it it shoots you up. It's like a super high jump, so it's he's more for mobility and speed. And it's really good for like flanking people. Can he get killed fast? He does so... as fast as everybody else. Oh, okay. I mean, they might be changing that. I think uh. Gibraltar and the other tank they're gonna give more defense or increase the shield on those two because their hitbox is uh, is bigger they're easier to shoot but that is pretty much it for Apex Um, pretty cool character as long as they keep bringing characters they're getting that Overwatch Fortnite thing they they need a map real real bad right now because the map is really small there's only yeah. one map, and it's it's way smaller than most of the other battle royale games. But They'll they do have it. another hero coming up in a couple weeks, I think. So you know, yo, they're killing it, bro. They're destroying Fortnite. Yeah, th- I mean, this was I love this was Fortnite. This this was my first actual pay. Um, um, I actually bought the. The, the new character you paid for? No, it wasn't a new character. It was for uh, the Game Pass. or uh, Really? You put money in the Game Pass? Yeah, so it's like really? 10 bucks and you get, you get a bunch of rewards as you play. New skins for your other characters. You get money, you get in-game money, you get loot boxes. It's like Fortnite. Yeah, it's exactly like Fortnite. Bro, I don't, don't get me wrong. I'm tempted to do it on the game on the division. Like, <laughs> I'm so tempted. <laughs> the year pass. It's a year pass. But we'll get to that in a second. Yeah, this this thing was uh for 90 days. So, and it gives you like up to 100 levels. You can keep getting different rewards. Um, my next game was um. Uh, the new hero for uh, Overwatch which is weird that they both came out in the same week um well yeah I guess I'm trying to compete yeah uh, so uh, Batiste is pretty cool if not maybe a little bit overpowered cause he, they always are overpowered when they first come out uh, I don't know it was every time though like Moria was pretty pretty well balanced uh, I think they had to uh, tweak uh, Bridget but um, B- Batiste Bridget was super overpowered when she first yeah, came her, out her I think shield or heal was just insane it's still pretty strong but Batiste uh, he has abilities everywhere like if you crouch with him you'll charge up a super jump um Okay. He has a uh, an attachment. So like Doomfist. Uh, I would say it's so you charge, you you crouch, you charge it, and then you press the jump button, and he'll do like a higher higher jump than Doomfist with his uppercut. Uh, 
Oh, okay. He doesn't. It's not like he he does do an uppercut though. Uh, like that move. Does it no, injure? It, it, can it, it hurt people? No. Oh, okay. It's just to, to so so you okay. can get to higher spots. Yeah, or or run yeah. away. Uh, his his gun. It feels weird because I feel like you should aim down sights and it doesn't let you. His secondary attachment to that gun is uh, like healing grenades. Um, and the gun itself is burst fire. So every time you click the button, it does three shots real quick. You can hold it down for an, like continuous three shot uh, click instead of clicking every time. So, so it's three burst shot. How, how many bullets? Yeah, it's like 45. So it's a pretty big clip. Oh, okay. So, oh, all right. So it's a big yeah. clip. All right. I thought it was like that, that, that. And then he has to reload. I'm like, damn, that sucks. Yeah, no, like the grenades, you get 10 off the bat, the heating grenades. Uh, and mm-hmm. uh, 45 bullets per. How, how do the grenades, are, are the grenades like junk rats? They bounce around? No, it's, it's a lot more hit and blow up. They don't bounce. And and if okay. if you hit somebody, it'll do like splash healing damage. I mean splash heals. So uh, and if they if, if if okay the grenade are those grenades uh can they hurt? Also, I know they can heal, but can they hurt if they if they hit? As far as like the as far as I know, they don't hurt. They don't hurt. That yeah. sucks. Cause uh, what's her name? With with Anna, right? If I I might be wrong. I haven't played that in a while. If you shoot with with the people, you hurt them. But if you shoot shoot your teammates, it heals them. Right. Yeah. Right. You don't have to change between bullets. Right. If the bullet hits your your teammate, it heals them. If it hits the the enemies, it, it yeah. hurts. Them. I don't think you can heal just, enemies with the grenade. No, no, I mean, like, hurt them. I figured Oh, no, no, no. Them. I mean... Like Anna right, does. No, it's not like that at all. Um, I mean... So he's definitely more of a healer. Yeah, he's more of a healer. And especially with 10 grenades, you can heal somebody, like, a tank from, like, 25% health to full health and, like, 4 grenades. God damn. Um, the other one is... His... E key is he'll throw down um a little sphere on the ground and mm-hmm. it'll shoot up into the air midair and anybody that's at ten percent health if they're getting hit they won't die so it's like a um almost like you're immortal for those for like. Five to seven seconds, as long as that thing's up, which is really Damn. powerful. <laughs> it's almost, I feel almost broken because it does last oh, <laughs> quite a bit. Like, if, if you have a group and they get hit by an alt that would have killed them all, if that thing's uh. up, they all live, which is nuts. Wow. Uh, so his. I gotta play that game today. Yeah, I'm missing one more. The shift key is a self or a area of effect heal. So he'll like press, click his glove, and uh, he'll heal. He'll heal yourself and anybody around you, and he heals for like. What the fuck? That's way overpowered. And that heals for like. It's not that strong, but if if you're not getting hit, it is pretty strong because it it's it'll heal you for a lot, but it'll heal you very slowly. So it's it, yeah, but then you're healing other people too, right? He sounds like a nightmare. Like you have to kill him fast, or he's gonna keep everybody alive. He will keep people alive. Yes, he's a, he's a nightmare. Yeah, you you like have to fucking kill him fast. Yeah, in a lot of ways he's like the new <laughs> Mercy when she was OP as fuck. The new, yeah. Like yeah. When, when she used to have the like aerial effect resurrection. She revived yeah. everyone? He, this, 
Remember yeah, that shit? Yeah, I do. This guy almost feels like that. Um, if you if you play with him really she, well, she would hide in a corner. She never played. She hide in a corner, mm-hmm. and then you would do like a fucking move and kill everyone. And then Mercy pops out of nowhere and brings everybody back yeah. to life. Well, which is a little bit different with this guy. You really have to be in the shit uh, for his abilities to like hit the right spots. Um, and Jesus. last, like this guy is decked out with abilities, like from the jump, which is control. To shift E, and the ultimate is he'll throw down like a, a matrix wall, so it's like a digital wall in front of you, and you can uh-huh. place it pretty much anywhere. Um, and anything that gets shot through that wall, either let it be your bullets for damage or your grenades, it does like three times damage or heal, which is pretty nuts too jeez that's way too many <laughs> he's a monster if if I imagine like pro players are just gonna clean house with this man <laughs> until they you know they nerf yeah. him it should probably be real soon and I don't know where they can nerf because everything just requires a lot of skill well, I mean, they nerfed Mercy by wiping one of her, her moves. Maybe that's what they got to do with him. Probably wipe out two moves. I mean, he has, like, the movement with, with the jumping, the high jump. They have maybe one of his heals might get nerfed. Maybe the grenades. Uh, other than that, everything maybe. requires, like, a really good strategy. All right. Let's talk about, because we've been talking for a while now. Let's talk about the game that you've been waiting for. Oh man! Because I, I mean, I I can talk about. Let me just say that it, since I'm in the pit with you, the only thing that I played this whole week, and I had a long weekend, has been Division Two. This this fucking game is consuming my life, and it's bad for me. <laughs> like I haven't shaved. It's just. I can't play anymore, man. I have to stop playing this game. Hey, if you're enjoying it, but I'm trying to get, I'm trying to get a level thirty, so I could get the special, the 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 special elite, whatever the hell you you can either become a sniper or or I don't remember what it is, but you get something at the end, a special class. Sorry, but when the one thing that I like about the division two is now that if you don't have to fucking join. You can look for teammates if you want to play with people. And uh, you can do clans now, which is, you couldn't do that before. And uh, the other thing is that in, if you're playing by yourself and you get in yourself in a situation where, holy hell, I keep dying. I don't know what else to do. You can Every time you get killed, it gives you the option to request help. And... As a as a player, you get these calls saying a gamer is asking for help, and you can just you know press the specific button and you can jump in their game and help them out for the specific. I mean, you'll be in their party, but I mean, you can help them out and then just get out of the party, so which I think is it's great. Like a quick match because, bro, I played a level today. The I'm not trying to give spoilers, but I'm supposed to rescue this asset that's very important. And I rescued him, and then it says, okay, now you now you have to escape. Try to survive the, the hordes. Bro, that's probably the challenge. That was like, you have to play with four people, and I played it by myself. And my God, I died like 30 times. But, I mean, every time I play, you start, like, all right, this is what I got to do. I I use a drone, and I use... At first, I was using the drone and the turrets at the same time, and I figured, no, I can't use both at the same time. So I started using one first, and then when that one ran out, I used my, my the other one. Because then the boss comes out, and the boss is, like, heavy armored son of a bitch that is impossible to kill. 
and he walks to you slowly, but bro, when he walks to you, it's like you better run the other way because he could kill you like real mm. fast. And I just kept on doing it over and over and over till till I did it. And I'm proud of myself that I did it. And it's just such a it's such a well polished game. I mean, Ubisoft is saying that they're going to give the free DLCs to everybody. So that's what I wanted to talk about. Is like, what if you're going to give free DLCs to everyone? Why are you charging me forty dollars for the year pass? I don't understand. Maybe is whatever comes after the first DLC. Because they supported the crap out of the first one. I don't know, bro. I'm not paying $40. It's too much. I mean, don't they tell you but, what you get when you pay the first 40 for the- uh, Let's see what it says. It says here, Tom Clancy's The Division Fates of... Division. The fate of free world is on the line. Blah, 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 blah. And it shows you nothing. Details. Here it is. Nope. Nothing. So, I mean, there's not really a description. It's not. Here it is. Here it is. Okay. The Division 2 launches PS4. Following the game releases. Follow the Ubisoft. Blah, 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 blah. It comes with a seven-day early access. You get so you get it before everybody else. You get eight classified assi- ass- assignments, three new, sp- three new spe- specializations. You get a classified assignment reward. You get an agent award outfit. You get a scout emote. You get an additional bounties and projects. That's not worth forty bucks, bro. That's not worth forty. <laughs> it's not worth forty dollars. Ubisoft, how dare you? You think I'm oh stupid? Oh my god, dude. What do you pay for? I just mentioned to you every. Ah. I mean, what? How dare I you? I thought you were going to get like ah. DLC next year or the year after. Did you get no? It's it's this year. That's what the yearly passes is for this it year. It is for that. But I mean, you're getting the DLCs before everybody what, else. What you, That's it. What you did was pay for that early access. That's what you did. That's it. Damn. How dare them? Yeah, fuck. Well, I didn't pay for it. <laughs> I didn't get fucked. <laughs> Refuse to pay for that. I, if I'm going to get the same shit, I'll just wait the seven days. Yeah, that's stupid, man. They already dropped the ball there. Whatever. Anyway, go ahead. Let's talk about your game so we can finish off. All right. I didn't get too far in, but I did start. And it feels like the first pur- purchase for the year for me. For some reason, I mean, technically it is. I'm not counting Kingdom Hearts. What are we talking about? What's the name of the game, oh, sir? Sekiro. So people... Shadows die twice. Okay. And, um, so give me a little origin about what the story's about. Uh, so it's like uh, feudal war, Japan. Uh, your your father, your adopted father, finds you in a field of battle. Uh, it's like a bunch of corpses around you and he takes you in and teaches you the ninja way how to be a shinobi so you're a ninja you're, you're a ninja or a samurai you're a ninja straight up shinobi he doesn't look like a shinobi he doesn't but you know it's probably more factual the way he looks than actual ninjas <laughs> um but you start the game with uh you're like in a well you lost your sword. Uh, they, they took your master. And you start off the game. There's a lot of background. With nothing. Right. With nothing. All you... All you uh, I mean, there's an hour long... To- so it's like Demon Souls. It is It Dark is Souls. not like Dark Souls. It's not like Demon Souls. It's not even like... Why? Like Bloodborne. How is it different? Uh, it's different in the way that... Um, and the reason, folks, that I'm asking this is because it's made by the same company, right? It is, yeah. Uh, the main reason is because it's this feels a lot closer to Tenchu than um, one of the Soul games. Um, you start off with a tutorial that teaches you how to stealth 
through the first few areas. So you're like using tall grass to hide and you use ledges to grab on and go around people and soldiers until you reach your master. This is the first 10 minutes. It's no spoilers. Uh, and once <laughs> you get there, you, you get your, your sword, your katana. Uh, and, and it goes on from there. Um, so the first thing that's different about this game is that there's no stats besides vitality, your health, and your weapons uh-huh. strength. That's that's all there is. Uh, and you can stealth most of the levels. So if you crouch, you can go behind somebody and do one kill. Uh, one, one hit kill stealth. Uh, I think they called them death blows. Uh, the yeah. other major difference is that uh, when you're actually fighting one on one and they see you, uh, what you want to do is attack enough where their poise breaks and it lets you do a one hit kill. So everything throughout this whole game so far has been uh, kind of like beating people up. It's been feeling a little smashy, but mashy. Because uh, the more you hit somebody and the more they block you, uh, their poise goes down and then you get to do a finisher. And that's a 1-1 uh, like face-to-face battle. Not stealth or anything. Um, the other thing you can do is uh, parry their weapon attacks. So if you time it just right, uh, you'll get an instant uh, death blow. Okay. And that's how you fight everything. Like, there isn't... So, I mean, when it comes to the difficulty factor compared to the other games, is, this, is it tough? Just as tough? No, I think it's easier. It's easier? Yeah. Do you die more? Do you die as fast? You don't, no. And that's... So, you know, like, uh, because Demon Souls and Dark Souls... When you get hit, I mean, you lose like 80% of your vitality. Yeah, like the first time I died, it was one shot because I was facing the wrong direction and the guy hit me right in the back. Because I was, what a douche. I was still trying to figure out the dodge button, which never changes in the Souls games. It's still the circle button. Um, But every kill you get in this game is by death blows. So you'll get like a small cutscene or a small animation that that does like a you either impale your enemy or you, you cut their necks or you stab them in the neck uh, it's, it's not like a hack and slash like the Souls games if anything this is like really good if you're starting to get into those games cause those games don't have any tutorial they don't tell you jack shit this one tells you what uh, healing items <laughs> yeah that's why I turned in Dark Souls <laughs> I got a refund for that shit. Yeah, this game tells you how to hide, how to use the buttons, uh, what items do, uh, what how fighting works. Is the enemies monsters? The enemies are not monsters so far. Uh, they're all human. Uh, they're just okay. like soldiers. So the whole thing is like uh, there's a coup going going on, and your master is the leader of. Of the descendant who was used to be emperor, and I guess the general wants to take over the country. So it's all seems like a uh, you know feudal Japan, soldiers against soldiers, master against master, kind of thing. Um, yeah, uh, a la Anemusha. Right. Uh, much more. I'm telling you, it feels like this game was supposed to be a Tenchu game and they decided to make it their own RP, uh, IP um, there is no so far I haven't seen too many other swords um, I'm really early in the game though uh, I have not seen any different kind of armors or equipment I don't think there's any actually 
So how much have you played? I played like uh, hours wise. Maybe an hour and a half. You played an hour and a half, and you're saying the game is easy because you played an hour and a half. Yeah, right now, like the buttons are easy. Uh, you get auto kills if you do it right. You don't have to like, you know, swing your sword around or have to deal with a slower weapon or a faster weapon. You you only get the one katana in the beginning of the game. I don't know if you get more swords. I think you do, but you do not get any other armor, as far as I know. And that's a big difference from even Bloodborne, where you get gear, a lot of gear. I feel like the game's going to get tougher. <clears throat> Have you fought a boss? I haven't gotten to a boss yet. Oh, I, I got to the first boss, but it's you can't beat him. Yeah, that's where you lose your arm. Uh, the the hook shot feels great. The animation for everything looks is like on point. This this game is gonna be a masterpiece. Okay, masterpiece is a little bit <laughs> too much. I mean, I want to say it's a I'm masterpiece. A, I'm a bit biased because I love these games, these Souls games. Um, it, it just looks like they're just diving a lot more into a Tenchu like game. Uh, they exploded the story in this compared to any Souls games. Like, like uh-huh. your character talks. Uh, you, you run it. Oh, your character talks. That's yeah, this, an event. Yeah. Your character talks. You run into a lot of NPCs. Um, you can hear the other soldiers talking a lot. And you can even, uh, like... Sp- I... I- you know, at first I was against the talking, but I hate when your character's mute. It makes you weird. Like, I just met the president mm-hmm. in Division, and my character just shook his hand. He was like, thank you so much. How are you? And he shaked his hand and didn't say anything. I was like, that's the fucking president of the United States, and you didn't say shit to him. <laughs> You're rude as Wait, fuck. Wait, that's fucking... Isn't that a huge spoiler? <laughs> 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 I don't think so. Well, <laughs> well, I'm not telling you what president it is. Okay, yeah. Well, I would like, imagine it could be the yeah. fucking, it could be the the Secretary of State. You don't okay. know. <laughs> There's a chain in command. It's if the actual president dies. Well, for, it, could, it could be the Senator of Georgia. For all for I know, that don't know, you meet some kind of president in the. Some kind of president. Um, Douche. But <laughs> it's back to secure. Um, yeah, it's <laughs> this is a uh, entry level Souls game for as far as I know, or in my experience, after playing just about all of them, it's, it's easier to manage. You got tutorials telling you what to do, and you got a heavy based story driven game, and it feels like Tenchu. If you if you miss Tenchu, this. This will probably hit the right spot for you. What was that other game that I absolutely hated? With the samurai. The samurai. Uh, with the samurai? No, no. That is just like this stupid games. Um, you have to be more detailed. Come on, bro. A samurai game that came out last year. It came out for the PS4 and it came out in PC later on. Same type of game. One hit kills. Start from the beginning. You lose your equipment. Don't make me look steam. Uh, last year. Yes, last, last year. year. You're making me look this up, aren't you? Last year. It, was, it wasn't the quiet moment, was it? <laughs> you know there's some <laughs> listener right now going like, Jesus, it's this fucking game. <laughs> you know the frustration of... of Dude, I... It's this game! I don't remember any samurai games last year. Yes, there was a samurai character. Come on, think. Character. Shit. Oh my god, I have 200 games, bro. Just keep talking about your game and I'll find it. Alright. Um. Yeah, it, it just feels great. Um. The hook shots. I, I haven't found enough. Um. Uh. uh tools, ninja tools, that go into your prosthetic hand. So I don't know how crazy it's going to get, but it seems like off the bat, you get 
five slots for tools and later on I know you get a tenant tree oh so you do get it okay yeah I, I think that's what the they give up their gear system and added a tenant tree um and I mean the only things that they keep from souls is that you I think you actually get souls from killing things I found that it's Neo oh Neo dude Neo is great Oh, what are you talking about? Uh, oh, oh, I don't know the name of the game. Neo was great. Was it a samurai game? Yeah, it was a samurai game. Did you get killed easily? Yes, yeah, it's, it's a soul like. And then why couldn't you figure out the answer, sir? Because I played that thing like two years ago. <laughs> you didn't pass it, though. I beat that game, yeah. Bullshit, you, you're just making up things today, aren't you? <laughs> Oh, it's not my fault that you don't believe in me. Because <laughs> I, yeah, I don't believe, I believe you. Myself. You're a liar. It doesn't matter what you say. <laughs> Bro, there's no way you passed that game. I did, dude. I did. If, if you, you did not pass that game. You're a liar. If you want me to beat it for you, just ask nicely and I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> right now, I, I don't appreciate your doubts. Because it's not true, bro. Uh, Everybody knows you're lying. Uh, I, won't, I won't beat it for you now. You, you ask me nicely. You show me proof. You, show me the, the, the... Show me the... What'd you play? I played it on PS4. All right, so show me the trophy. You, you, you can go it. look at it yourself. You're on, I don't need you're to look at list. it. You need to send it to me. All right, finish this off so we can finish. You can fuck her. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so, uh, from what I understand, Tiny Tree increase, uh, gives you buffs or new skills, like, uh, deflecting or parrying, uh, attacks. It'll help you, it'll help you get faster death blows and stuff like that. But, yeah, it's, so far it's a solid game. I'm really early in it, though. So you give it a seven? I'm not giving anything right now. I have, I'm too early. So you give it like a six. Fuck off. Because I would give that fucking game a three if I die in the first ten seconds. Dude, just stab yourself. Go. <laughs> Go away. <laughs> it's just like, ah, God. I hate dying so much in those games. I don't mind dying, bro. I, I'm all for dying. Just don't take my, my equipment away. I hate that. They don't take your equipment away. They just take your... No, you have to go back and get it, right? No, you just... I mean, if you have souls on you, then you... Sure, you, you can go back and get them, but you don't have to. If you have... What happens if you get killed before you get the souls? You, you lose those, but if... You lose those. Well, you shouldn't go into a boss battle with 10,000 souls. That's just stupid. Is that, what, is, no. is that what you've been doing? I never said it was a boss battle. It doesn't have to be a boss battle. You, you could die. Any monster can kill you in those games. That's why I, I, I admire those games. Because it could be any level difficulty character and he could fucking slash you twice and you're dead. Yeah, it's all about mechanics, learning them, and then keep at it. The more you play, the better you get in those games. That's why. That is not true, sir. That is true. I played plenty of Neo and I couldn't finish. I never fa- finished the first Neo's battle. Neo's fucking hard. <laughs> But never, I was like, "What the with that stupid monster in the boat?" Never passed him, and that's when I said, "No even more." Even you know, I got better at, and it was I found it to be harder than the Souls games because you have three different kinds of uh, fighting styles. Stands. Yeah. So yeah, you, I, if you, if you really wanted to, you can just stick with one stance in that game. Usually, the middle one, and uh, you, the more you use it, the more you learn. The more you better you get at it no thank you I'm done with those games those games those games are fantastic the greatest thing that's had in this generation those games are made for masochists <laughs> you my friend are a masochist uh, probably told you that's it that's it alright <laughs> Thank you guys for listening. This will be the end of the episode. Uh, we appreciate everyone who listened today. Uh, 
If you want to follow us, you can follow us at Evo Metal Gamers at Twitter. You can email us at Evo Metal Gamers at gmail.com. You can also find us on Facebook and Discord. Just any social media, you'll find us under Evo Metal Gamers. We're allowed to open a Steam account for ourselves. We're going to start a new segment next week called the Penny Pincher Gamer. And uh, basically what we're going to do is we're going to purchase games that are... Are you okay? Yeah, go ahead. I heard that. <laughs> my bad. I heard that, Mike. <laughs> uh, basically, we're going to pick a random game from Steam that is $5 or less. And we will play it. The way I want to do it is I will pick Dylan's game and Dylan will pick my game. That way we don't play something that is our taste. And that way we'll find out if we're playing a terrible, terrible game or if it's going to be a gem, a hidden gem that might be great. So, And for future references, we're probably going to start recording those and put them on YouTube or do live shows on them on Twitch. So I'm going to put every Souls game for you to play. Don't you? <laughs> they'll never drop more than $5. I don't care. I'll put the extra cash in there just to make your life a living hell. No, no, no. It has to be $5 <laughs> or less, sir. <laughs> I'll wait for a sale. Don't worry. I'll make it happen. Yeah, okay. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for listening and take care. May your death be legendary. And stop.